Hey, we have here another integral from the UNT integration B. This was sample problem number 15. We have the integral of x squared over the square root of x minus one dx. Okay, I think this is gonna go really quick because I'm just gonna get right into it and use a, and we're gonna try a u substitution. Now there's two ways that I can think to do this and they both come out really similar. So I don't have a big preference, but you can make a u substitution for just x minus one, or we could do our u substitution for this whole thing. So that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call my u We'll just call our u equal to the square root of x minus one. And while I'm at it, I think we'll find some other values. We'll square this, we'll get u squared equals x minus one, and we can solve for x. x is gonna be u squared plus one. I'll take a derivative to get my dx. So derivative of this is gonna be two u du. And you know, one other thing, we need an x squared here. So I'm gonna square this up just so we have it ready. So x squared is gonna be, just multiplying it out, it's gonna be u to the fourth, 2u squared plus one. And now I'm gonna go ahead and make this substitution. So there's our x squared value. We'll have u to the fourth plus two, u squared plus one. Our dx is gonna be, let's see, we'll have two u du. And then our denominator, real simple, is just gonna be u. And that's pretty nice because our u's are gonna cancel. And now this is set up where we can just use power rule. I'm gonna take this two, we'll bring it out front and we'll integrate. Integral of u to the fourth, this is gonna give us u to the fifth over five. Here, two u squared, the integral that's gonna be two thirds u cubed, the integral of one is just gonna be u. Before I back substitute, I think what I'm gonna do is like, let's factor out a u, because we notice we have a u in all these terms. That could help us out. And then also, maybe just to get rid of these fractions, I can factor out a common denominator of 15 here. So we'll have 215 times u, and then inside, this is gonna give us, let's see, we're gonna have u to the fourth, and this is gonna be a three here. Then for this next term, this is gonna be a u squared. And I think this is gonna be, with the 15, this is gonna give us 10 as a coefficient here. And this last term is just gonna be 15. Just noticing that the 15s cancel here to give us just the one coefficient on the u. Then one other thing before I back substitute, we already have our u squared value, so that's fine, but what's u to the fourth gonna be? Well, I can just take u squared and square that. So therefore, let's see, u, u to the fourth is gonna be this squared, so that's gonna give us x squared minus two x plus one. Okay, now we're ready to back substitute, but we have u, u squared, and u fourth, so that should make it pretty easy. So we're gonna have two over 15, u is just gonna be square root of x minus one. Then we're gonna have three, this is our u to the fourth, so we'll have to distribute it, we'll have to multiply this out in a second, but we'll write that in. We'll have our 10, u squared is x minus one. I think for this term, I'll just multiply it in right now because it's gonna be easy. 10 times x minus one is gonna give us 10x minus 10, and then we're just gonna have 15. And then let's see if I can squeeze in the final solution right here. So we're gonna have two over 15, square root of x minus one. Now we're gonna multiply this thing out. So we're gonna have, here we're gonna have three x squared. Sorry, three times minus two x is minus six x plus 10 x. So we're gonna have a four x here three distributed into the one. So we're gonna have three, actually, so 15 minus 10 is five, plus three here, and this is gonna give us eight. I'll just tack on a plus C because that's required, and that's it. Okay, pretty nice problem, just a straightforward use substitution, went quick. Hope everyone enjoyed it. Thanks everyone for watching today. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.